A man would blame anybody but that stinking ass couch they be sitting on. How about you move out the couch so you can go get a job? What's up cousins and welcome back again on another episode today. How are you all doing? Let me know how you guys are doing in the comment section. And if you're joining for the very first time as well, where have you been? Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't make this your last time. Today's video, we are going to be talking about a man who feels like the reason why he's been homeless is because of Gitli. This video is giving someone who is jealous with a sprinkle of entitlement and audacity because these three things, I feel they have to be in play in order for you to come online and say these things. This man believes that he does something that contributes to world to the community than what Kitley does and then he's questioning his followers that why did they even make him famous while he's here trying to help them remember their loved ones and he is in viral. So now he is homeless and he thinks the reason why he's homeless is because the black community has decided to support Kitley and make him famous while they neglect him. Like he said he was ready to put everything in line, even his channel and everything everything to tell them the truth because how on earth are they supporting Kitley that they are not supporting him i am going to roll the clip i think the video has been deleted but there are so many people who stitched to that video so i was able to get the context exactly of what this man was saying so without wasting much time let me roll the clip and let's hear from someone who is homeless because Kitley is famous Y'all don't gotta fuck with me no more. Y'all don't gotta none of that, I promise you. I'm going off finally on TikTok because I'm finna say how I feel. I've created actual art. You feel what I'm saying? I've been really creative. Outside of my pound videos, I've been real real creative and made pictures and portraits of y'all and y'all family members that y'all will never be able to see again or have. But y'all won't fuck with me. Y'all literally let me be homeless. Y'all have let me what be homeless. You feel what I'm saying? But this motherfucker can go around and put people out of business because of what? I don't want to hear no key slander. And you don't know that, business. nigga. Oh Get off God. his dick. Chill. What about the people chill. that worked hard to open? Yeah, I'm peace. Has Keith Lee fed y'all? Has there been any promo codes where... Fuck a promo code. Has he done something where he fed everybody? He fed the homeless. This nigga is going around spending money eating food, nigga. And what do you guys think about that video? What was the very first thing that crossed your mind? Listening to what this man has to say, say what has he done? And then he's there reviewing restaurants and trying to take some business, some people out of business. Saying all he does is just sit down and make some talk and then he's famous. Like, what does he do? And this is the same person who I saw a creator call out for literally using PixArt and putting wings. Just so you are like wondering what he does. It creates an image of people's loved one who had passed. So it's just like those images that people do that they put like wings at the back. And then you know those ones in the sky. That is what he does. And I believe there are people who literally want to patronize him. Because yeah, he was even able to get some few customers. Which you guys are going to be seeing in the next stitches. Because what these people have to say. You wouldn't even believe what he has been doing to the people that were even supporting him before him coming out to, to say all this trash so basically i think his business is something that can actually sell out but then going at it this way is not making any sense if he thinks his business is not growing i hope he knows that things are about to go down the hill this video that he just did so i am going to roll the clip of what people are saying about his video because it got on the nerves of so many people like i said his video is just someone who is jealous and who is wearing a coat of audacity so without wasting much time let me just roll in the clip and let's see what the people are saying about his video and then we come back and talk about it again has he done something where he fed everybody he fed the homeless this nigga is going around spending money eating see what you're not gonna do mr real rollo black is use a good man like keith lee to throw stones and hide your hands so let's go ahead and put you out of business because yeah people He's much worse than you think he is. You see, he came across my For You page and I was impressed with his artwork. So I wanted to support a small black business. And as you can see, he provides all of the information. And we were good to go. I even shared some of his content. Then October 1st rolls around and this happens. Now I could tell he blocked me and I couldn't make sense of it, but I was low-key pissed because this was supposed to be a birthday gift for my mother whose birthday was on the 13th. But I let it go. About a week later, I get a DM from a mutual named Wendy who saw that I shared his content and she asked me if I did business with him before and I told her no and I asked her why she asked me that and she said she can show me better than she can tell me. This was the first screenshot she sent. As you can see, she wanted a portrait of four people that she lost in the past year. They're working out the payment arrangement. 
Then she wanted to upgrade by putting wings on her loved ones and he was going to give her a discount, but she was good with the regular price because she wanted to support him. So she sends him the money, but you see the most recent transaction where it says, give me my, because she was asking for her money back. And that's because he took her money and then he ghosted her. He responded once more, ghosted her again, and then he blocked her. So basically he's using Keith Lee's trending situation in Atlanta so he can pull heartstrings in his own community to scam more people, his own people. And he's clearly jealous because Keith Lee is a good, honest man with an organic following in the millions. And this guy can't even get to a thousand. Now, before Wendy contacted me, I was still trying to reach out to him because I thought him blocking me was a mistake. So I want to thank her for helping me dodge a bullet. And if you were scammed by him, please put it out there. We need to put him out of business. And theory really just boils down to the fact that you're unemployed. You sit at home and do nothing all day. You're chronically online. You are you are an unproductive member of society. Now listen, I'm not the biggest supporter of capitalism, but do you like to be broke? Get up off your ass and get in the field, ho. There's a man up here that is so mad that all Keith Lee got to do is just eat some food and say a few words. A man would blame anybody but that stinking ass couch they be sitting on. How about you move out the couch so you can go get a job? DJ Not So Cool gonna cut his daughter's hair on camera. Men need to be men. Y'all really need to stop sitting down with y'all legs closed, squeezing y'all balls and open up y'all legs. He was the man that Dwayne Howard was playing with with that 20 piece wig. Was it the plan? I had my spend a night backpack. Was it the plan? No festival here. Just a one man stand. Sorry. Really nasty what you would do to people when they leave you. This lady gone DM me like, I need you to go on live and say that my man is, you know, sleeping with another man. How much would that cost? Girl, a thousand dollars because I don't really like coming up here and lying. See how that man killed his two neighbors for hearing noise through the cement floor? This is wood. Imagine what I can hear. I can I can hear her whole nervous system. When she get hungry, I hear the bubble of the belly. Literally let me be homeless. Y'all have let me what be homeless. I'm Keith. Has Keith Lee fed y'all? There's this weird shift that happens when a creator becomes very successful. Where certain people stop seeing them as inspiration. You start seeing them as competition. I find that to be the weirdest stuff on the planet. I hate to break it to you and to a lot of other people, but I'm not going to lie. This content creation stuff is not for everybody. TikTok and YouTube have become the new NBA and rap career. You see that other people have become successful very quickly and have about the same amount of talent that you do. And you think, oh, yeah, I got this in a bag. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. In order to be successful on TikTok, you have to have a certain amount of knowledge of how to brand and market yourself. And honestly, a lot of it is luck. People don't like to say that. And yes, I can give you as many tips as I can, but a lot of it is luck. We are not the reason why you are homeless. It has nothing to do with us, right? And as somebody who just started making money on this app, I am realizing that this can go away at the drop of a hat. Coming on the internet now to yell at us... <laughs> And some man that you've never met for your downfall? I, how can you even have a downfall if you've never even been up? This is crazy. Going around spending money eating food, nigga. And like, I swear to God, I had other content that I'm going to be uploading. Um, I'm going to wait a couple hours after uploading this one. But this one was absolutely embarrassing. It was embarrassing to say the least. Um, I'm going to try to keep it a little bit just to the point. Um, first of all, no one on here, on social media, no one lets you go homeless. You let you go homeless. There's a lot of content creators that come on here and they're just grateful to be here. They make content, they could be homeless, they could be in mansions or whatever the case may be. The views come in, the views come in, they don't, they don't. Um, I don't understand how you mad at your audience because they didn't make you famous or as famous as Keith Lee. And that's the crazy part about this. This video reeks of jealousy and envy. It reeks of it. And I see what y'all are really upset about. Y'all are mad because this man is getting all these opportunities. Y'all are mad because he gets all these views. You're mad because he gets to work with all these different artists and all these different people. And that's what you're mad about. You're not mad that he's tearing, that you believe that he's tearing down businesses and things like that. You think that he's gotten too big for his britches. 
you believe that he is starting to accumulate a lot of power that you really want. And that's what a lot of you content creators are really upset about. This is the craziest video I've ever seen in my life. And it's super transactional. And that's what I tell people about like YouTubers as well, is that the, the moment you stop supporting them, that's when that's when the truth will start coming out. That's when all that facade and stuff, all that niceness and all that stuff will start coming out. This man really made a rant about another uh, about people liking his content. The other part was he, everybody keeps saying that it's not just him. It's an older gentleman who's had two days where he's created a live about Keith Lee. He keeps asking the question, how is Keith Lee productive in the black community? And the funniest part is Keith Lee also does community work. It's on his page. Y'all don't follow this man. You guys are trolling or you're trying to rage farm for views. You're trying to find the people that don't like Keith Lee to come to your channel. And honestly, in this particular situation, everybody is on Keith Lee's side because it's corporations that are fucking with that are that are upset that he didn't give a great review. It is corporations that are mad at at Keith Lee, not not the people. He fights for the people every time he uploads, man. And that's the funniest part about this, bro. You tried to make this about you. Oh, y'all let me go homeless, but y'all letting this man run around on, on Nickelodeon and meeting celebrities and stuff like that. I want to meet celebrities. You might as well say that, brother. And I don't went and checked out your page. Yeah, your views are down. That's what you're upset about. You're upset because your viewership is down. And you have 135,000 people on your shit. And you're not getting that much traction. You've made multiple videos, right? It doesn't matter if people mess with you or not. That's not the point. The point is, is that you can't allow your anger and your jealousy and your envy to seep through the camera so that we can see it. Because we hear you loud and clear. You're not upset because he went and criticized some businesses. You're mad because you don't have the power that you think he has. Peace. Embarrassing to say the least. Go watch this video for more context, and I'm going to piggyback off of this. I never understood biting the hand that feeds you. You need viewership. You need people to engage with your content. But then you come on here and just start attacking them and blaming them for you being homeless. You know there's real jobs out here. Get your ass up and go get one. And the thing about Keith Lee is that the only people that are really outraged are the people that are jealous, number one, and the corporations that he goes in and gives an honest review about check it it's not the actual people that are watching it just to figure out like where to go eat keith does a lot of different things in the community as well if you follow him another thing keith lee is doing that y'all need to peep game on is he's holding these establishments accountable just because we are black doesn't mean that we should accept less because we're getting good food technically keith lee is showing you what everybody thinks about black people and how they are treated when they go out including black people I think we all can agree to the fact that this guy is actually very jealous. I see a lot of other stitches of people actually saying your work is not on your page and you're only blaming Pitley for being homeless. Like, if you talk about the things you're doing, because when I listen to his video, he's giving, oh, what I do makes more sense than what Kitley does, and you all are there supporting him, and now he's bringing down black businesses, and you guys are there supporting him. First and foremost, he is not bringing down any business. He is trying to hold them accountable to serve the community better. This is, ex this is just what it does, and this guy is just a very jealous human being. He thought he was going to be able to gather the armies of people who hate Kitley so much so they can talk down on him and i don't know what he's expecting if your business your page is not doing well and you think the clout you need is this type of clout i don't think it makes any sense if he thinks his sales is low he's not making money he's homeless i don't know what is about to come after this video that he made because his page is going deep deep into the hell like right now i think he has less less than a thousand followers right now and to think that the people who reach out to him, who saw him organically, that reach out to him to work with him are saying that he scammed them.
So make this make sense. You're on your page dancing or putting out your, your heart to your work and you are seeing another man who does a lot for the community, who has brought so many businesses into limelight and you are there blaming this person for your own homelessness just because you could not get a job. Like, is it supposed to be that deep or this guy is just like an entitled person? Let me hear what you guys think about him in the comment section because it's not giving at all. At this point, some people will blame the attack not working on Kitley. I just can't imagine someone blaming that on a man who is out there telling this restaurant to do better. Share your thoughts in the comment section and make sure you turn your bell notification on and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye and I love you guys.